We've just had Mental Health Awareness Week and we're coming towards the end of Mental Health Awareness Month. Now, as a psychiatrist, it's probably not a revelation that mental health awareness is something I feel quite strongly about. But I'm a little bit worried that we might be starting to become too aware. And with the wrong interpretations, these awareness campaigns might be starting to have side effects. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elliot. I'm a doctor in the UK. I specialize in psychiatry. And on my channel, I do educational videos, reaction videos, that sort of thing about medicine, mental health and mental illness. Disclaimer at the top. I think mental health awareness campaigns had and still have good intentions. But I want to use this video to talk about two main points. One, mental health and mental illness are two different things. And two, awareness doesn't equal change no matter what new hashtag you want to put with it. Let's start with a physical health analogy because I actually think they're really useful, especially as we're still trying to seek parity in the way that we think of mental health and physical health as interlinked. It's good to think of the two hand in hand. If we think of promoting good physical health, we think a good diet, exercise, not smoking, watching what you drink. But at no point do we start equating those things with being illnesses in and of themselves. We acknowledge that poor physical health, among lots of other things, can increase the risk of developing developing physical illnesses like diabetes, cancer, heart failure. But we acknowledge that having a rubbish diet and diabetes are not the same thing. Then there's mental health. Now, as I said, I think awareness campaigns are really good. Just the notion of talking about day-to-day -day emotions has been something very stigmatized throughout the years. Still is. Some people are equating it with a sign of weakness or a lack of resilience. And the idea of trying to promote vocalizing and talking about the way that you feel, building support networks, using other people to help you manage these emotions is a really, really good thing. It helps normalise these emotions and quite frankly, we'll all need some help managing a period of distress at some point in our life. But it's important to remember that the healthy mind experiences a huge range of emotions. Some of those are not very nice. Intense amounts of worry, intense amounts of sadness, intense amounts of anger, but they can be quite normal. A normal, albeit unpleasant, part of the human experience. And as I said, we'll all need some help at some point in managing a period like this, and that's where awareness campaigns can be good. But experiencing mental distress is not the same as having a mental illness. And this is where I'm worried we might be starting to become too aware. Medicalizing and pathologizing these normal, albeit distressing and extreme emotions. And is it leading to a change in vocabulary and almost a trend of self-diagnosis? Is feeling anxious equated with having an anxiety disorder? Is feeling intense sadness equated as being depressed? Being very particular? Being a bit OCD? Describing people that interact a little bit differently to you in social situations as being a bit on the spectrum? Rapidly changing moods must equal bipolar disorder? Now it's really important that I get across that I don't want to minimise or come across as minimising periods of psychological distress because it can be awful. But what this is is more of an acknowledgement that mental illness can be much more severe than most people realize and that mental health awareness campaigns scratch the surface at the very very mild end so i'm going to ask you while we've got all these awareness campaigns for mental health where are the campaigns with the same amount of publicity for mental illness where's the campaigns for schizophrenia we have them for physical diseases we have them for diabetes we have them for all sorts of types of cancer why don't we have them for schizophrenia oh because we've already got mental health awareness mental health and mental illness are two different things and there it is the answer is not to stop these campaigns but it is to change the emphasis Mental health awareness needs to be about normalizing the experience of distressing, albeit normal human emotions, and enable support but without over medicalizing it. Now, a good start to this would be stopping the flippant use of medicalized terms to describe normal emotions. Sadness and depression are not the same thing. Worry, we need to reserve these for proper awareness campaigns for mental illnesses, particularly for those mental illnesses that are the most stigmatized. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking schizophrenia and borderline personality disorder. However, I do appreciate that these mental health awareness campaigns have probably enabled people to start talking about their mental health and seek support for actual mental illnesses, whereas they may not have done so before. And that's why I think they're a good thing. We just need to change the emphasis. Then that brings us on to the next issue we've encountered, which is nobody's fault except for our beloved government. So the number of referrals and the demand for support has gone up. Has the supply and resources gone up? I think not. What we need is more money and we need more focus on retention of mental health practitioners of all different disciplines to also allow for continuity of care for those people that are in the system. But that's where this talk about prevention being better than cure is empty rhetoric until the powers that be start coughing up the money to actually fund it. 